could actually win this one. Come on, come on. Hi, I'm Alistair, that's Jonathan. This is a Honda Civic Type R, and that is its posher brother, the Acura Integra Type S. This is the sibling rivalry you've been demanding in the form of an Edmunds U-Drag. Let's get on with it. Well, look what we have here, a battle of who's the coolest brother. In one corner, we have the young, hip, 2023 Civic Type R with 315 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. Going up against the brother who went to junior college, who has a 401k. The 2024 Acura Integra Type S with 320 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. These two JDM Jackals are going head-to-head -head on our Edmunds U-Drag track, which starts with a quarter-mile drag, then they hit the brakes, do a 180, and power back to start-finish. At the end of the first run, we'll swap drivers and lanes and do it again. And stick around for the bonus race! You guys are crazy. Through all that, and you still had time to like and subscribe? Man. On God. Respectfully. Thank you. And for everything else, check out Edmunds.com slash U-Drags. So to put the Civic Type R into full nutter mode, we're going to press the plus R button. That changes the display in front of me. And then I'm going to hold my finger on the stability control button to turn everything off. Vehicle stability assist system fully off. And we are good to go. All right, it's finally here. The Acura Integra Type S. It's not a Type R, it's a Type S. So, you know, still refined, still luxury, very much the mechanical twin to that car. This has just a slight horsepower advantage. One key difference is that that car is on Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Very, very grippy, very sticky, especially on this surface. And I have the Pilot Sport 4S. Still a great tire, but not as much grip as that. As far as launching this thing goes, it's pretty straightforward. You have a bunch of different drive modes. So I'm just gonna turn it up to Sport Plus. Sport Plus is the highest mode and then turn off my traction and stability control. And then 3,500 RPM on the launch. Anyways, I think the Acura can pull out the win with its less grippy tires. Let's see if that actually pans out the way that I think it will. Five, four, three, Two, one. Oh, better start. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why is he coming? Why is he coming? Here we go. Come on, Type Bass. It turned power out. Use the, all the track. Together, putting it together. Woo, it's gonna be a close one. Woo! <laughs> on the rev limiter. Come on. I think I got him though. Fun and exciting. I have a theory about these tires and that it would help me get a little bit more uh, wheel spin at the launch, which would actually help me. I don't think it gave, it gave me like maybe a foot or two. So I think the real advantage of this car is it's ever so slight, it's just so similar. It has a slight power to weight advantage over that thing. And I think that's just, you know, how it goes. Yeah, I'll take any excuse right now, but yeah, I think if any, I was a little bit deeper on the brakes, but you know, it's such fine margins. I got a reasonable launch and we seem to the first like zero to 30 to be pretty much together. And then you pulled away and at that point it's not traction limited and my gear changes were okay. So it was just kind of odd to see you, see you pull a bit of a gap at that stage. And then I basically tried to make it up under braking, got a decent exit. And then, you know, once we were together, maybe you had a slight edge along the straight, but I said he couldn't reel you in. Uh, I mean, it, they are so closely matched. You know, it's not hard to see that they are, you know, essentially the same car, just with a few tweaks here and there. The same gear ratios, right? Because that's the only thing that, that would explain it. 
I believe they're the same gear, gear ratios, yeah. Um, same track width, same tire size. It's just the tire compound that's, um, that's different. Well, let's swap cars and see if uh, the Civic, you know, has a time to shine. Okay, Civic Type R time. These Cup 2 tires are sticky, which is great, except for the launch where the engine just bogs. I just gotta try and manage the launch as best I can, and then I think, you know, I can probably gain a little ground on that uh, Type S in the braking. Okay, hopefully I can pull out the win for the Type R, because this is an amazing car. So, into the Integra Type S and immediately it feels more genteel, more of a kind of wine bar than a, a micro brewer if you like. Hopefully I can replicate the mid-range surge that Jonathan saw in the last race, but it's going to be super close. Feeling this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Second gear. Oh, actually got some wheel hop on that one. Come on, Type R. Third gear, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Fourth gear. You got it. Get the center line, pick the braking. Got a better exit. I could actually win this one. God, it's close again. Fourth gear. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh my God. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Dude, it's a photo finish. I mean, that is. You look up photo finish in the encyclopedia and that's a picture of us laughing at each other going across that finish line. It was kind of a replica, right? I had it off the start. You probably got me a little bit through braking and out of the corner and then it was like just head to head. Yeah, I mean, head to head, it's, it's, these cars are so close and it's a matter of feet. Like you can't even really quantify that in any meaningful amount of time. You know, we're talking like hundreds of seconds probably as we're crossing the finish line. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, this is so much fun. I could do this all day. There's something still about like a manual box where you're like going down through the gears and the braking, getting hard back on it. It's, there's still a sort of purity to it. These are fun cars. Okay, let's uh, head back to base and um, let's conclude this, uh, this epic. Now, which one of these siblings will earn their stepdad's love? In the zero to 60, it was a tie at 6.2 seconds. In the quarter mile, it goes to the Integra with its best time of 14.6 seconds. In the corner, it was the Civic that pulls away at 1.25 Gs. And the winner who gets to go to the arcade goes to the Integra with a time of 39 seconds flat at 115 miles an hour. Now here's a 20, kid. Papa Robbie's gonna go buy some scratchers. I'm well, sir. <sighs> Fine race. Yes, yes, yes. We're actually quite chuffed that it was as close as it was because on paper it should be that close. <laughs> Neither has really wanted to get beat because we're not competitive in any way. No, not at all. But, so what do we learn? Pretty much the same experience that the Integra launches better, probably because it has a little bit more wheel slip. Then in the mid-range it's better, but then under braking through the corner, probably because of the better tyres, the Integra, sorry, the Integra, the Civic Type R, it's a long day, Civic yeah. Type R reels it in. And then when we got back to straight away, the Acura just nicked it both times. Just, I mean, it just has that little of advantage, but when you're that, dead even any advantage is gonna help and uh yeah i mean i i'm i'm really i don't know which one i would rather have you know that's more expensive and that's kind of like more kind of honest but i don't know what what, what about you well i think it depends what you're looking for like the integra is I prefer the way it looks because I like sleeper cars. But then if you're buying a hot hatchback, you kind of want that full experience. I really much prefer the seats in this. I'm kind of moving around too much in the Integra seats. And it's more expensive, but it does sound better. And it has got gold wheels. So in this episode of Sibling Rivalry, the Acura just nicks it. But that's not the end of the family squabble because we have a bonus for you. Behold, 
the TLX Type S. One race, Jonathan, winner takes all. This is your Acura TLX Type S bonus race. So what have I done to set it up? Dynamic mode into Sport Plus, stability control off, 10 speed auto, so not a lot else for me to do. I'm gonna plant my left foot on the brake, build up some pressure, right foot on the accelerator, then release the brake and away we go. This, of course, is all-wheel drive, not just all-wheel drive, super handling all-wheel drive. But hey, we'll be the judge of that. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Got the jump again, maybe, yeah. Come on, Integra, you got this. the leaderboard. The Civic Type R didn't beat its best time of 38.5 seconds, so it stays put. And the Integra ties with the GR Corolla with its best time of 39 seconds flat. That leaves the TLX with its best time of 38.4 at 110.3 miles an hour, putting it right above the Civic Type R. So there you go. Despite all its accoutrements and mod cons, the TLX, the Porsche Big Brother, still has the edge on the Integra Type S over the course of an Edmunds U-Drag. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Head to edmunds.com slash U-Drags for all the latest U-Drag information, our Fable leaderboard, and check out everything else that Edmunds has to offer. Thanks for watching. That's it for now. <laughs>